So how do we actually read the time off of a sundial like this? Okay, well you see the, the same hour lines as on the other one, mm -hmm. and what are we missing here that we would normally expect to see, for example, on a modern clock, or even on more recent sundials? Uh, numbers. Yeah, and, and again, this is a little bit disorienting because we don't have the hours numbered mm -hmm. on the stone, but we know how the, the Romans numbered these lines mentally. For example, we have this chart, which is based on information in uh, Opus Agriculturae by Palladius, which is from around 400 AD. And he talks about um, the length of the shadow cast by a pole about five foot high. It's five feet high, that would be better. And so you can see that in January, if you look at the, the length of the shadow for January, you can see that the length at the first hour and the eleventh hour is the same. Then the second and the tenth is the same, the third and the ninth, the fourth and the eighth, the fifth and the seventh. And then when you get to the sixth hour, it's the shortest shadow of all, and it's not paired with anything else. So that is obviously midday. So if we had to number off, we had to mark these hours, we would put, I think, prima hora, un decima hora. I agree. Segunda hora, decima hora. Mm -hmm. Tertia, Nona. Quarta, octava, mm -hmm. quinta, septima, sexta. sexta. Right, so we're always talking about these, um, these lines when we're giving the time in Roman hours, and that's what the Romans did. Before I test you on whether you can tell the time in Latin, Luke, what would you call this one right up at the top edge here? Well, if this is un decima, that would have to be do decima, except, right. that's, except the that's Romans sunset. hardly ever mention that. Mm -hmm. um, certainly not in, in prose. Um, and instead of calling it duo decima hora, what would they normally call it? Solis o casus. Right, and that's just the normal way of referring to that one.